you can now combine an unlimited number of styles in mid-journey in any way that you can imagine. The latest update lets you combine multiple style codes and style references without any restrictions, which makes it easy to create endless customized art styles. Let's look at an example. I've generated two images using the same prompt for a forest druidess. The only thing that's different is the style code I used. This number after dash dash sref indicates the style code, which gives the image its unique visual aesthetic. The photo on the left has a retro cinematic feel, while the photo on the right has a sci-fi style with blue color hues. To combine the two different style codes together, after the sref parameter in the prompt, all I have to do is just type in the two different style codes, and the resulting images will feature a combination of the two visual styles. You can see the retro visual aesthetic, but there's also plenty of light blue color tones in the photo with the combined styles. Here's another example where I combine one style which has bright pink and green colors and another one with faded light blue colors and vintage photography. The combination of the two styles produces both bold primary colors but also has adopted the faded vintage photography visuals. For more customization, you can even weigh the individual styles separately using multi-prompting. I've combined style code 5 which has dark grey colors with elegant fantasy illustrations and style code 10 with bright colorful clay figures and the resulting images has grey clay figures but also with colorful leaves and vegetation on them. But what if I want style number 10 to be a bit more prominent with its vibrant colors? I can use multi-prompting where after each style code in the prompt I add two colons and then a reference weight which determines how much of that style to inject into the image. Using a reference width of 2 for style code 10 and 1 for style code 5, means style code 10 gets added in more heavily than style code 5. The images it produces does have more vibrant colors and adopt much more of the clay figure look, although you can still see a little bit of that influence from the fantasy style illustrations. We can also reverse the weights and this time use a higher weight number for style code 5. Now the generated images are much darker, with just a hint of green color hues. You can combine as many style references as you want. Here's an example where I combine three style codes. It's a great way to get art styles totally unique to you. We can also blend style codes with image references now. Here are some images generated using style code number 31. They are bright and highly saturated happy colors. Let's try to combine the style with an image style reference. So I'll use the attach image reference button and adding a style reference of this old Asian art piece. Then I'll hover over that attachment and select the paperclip icon to use it as an image style reference. Enter the prompt of a uh, mecha comic book cover and then finally add in dash dash sref 31 to also blend in the colorful saturated art. These results turned out absolutely amazing. They're extremely vibrant colors but it's also combined with the vintage Asian art style. Another pretty cool feature is that you can now blend multiple personalized style codes. On the left I generated an image with my own personal style code, and on the right I borrowed one from Future Tech Pilot. If you haven't seen my video on personalized style codes yet, I'll link it at the end of this video. The two styles are quite different. Mine on the left looks like they were taken during golden hour. The one on the right has much more muted colors with a lot of teal and orange in it. To blend the two styles together, just add both of the personalization codes after dash dash personalize. I will say that this doesn't seem to work as well as blending together style codes. You can see a bit of influence from each of the styles, but the blend doesn't seem as smooth. However, combining your personalization code with image style references does work really really well. I've uploaded this image of the wave in the ocean as a style reference again and entered a prompt about a woman in Buenos Aires with my personal style code attached at the end. And the results were a really cool combination of the two different visual styles. You can see the golden skin tones, but also some of the patterns from the ocean image on the clothing and the background. With the ability to smoothly combine so many different style references in so many different ways, there's endless possibilities to the type of art that you can create in mid-journey now. If you want to learn more about how to get your own personalized style code, go and take a look at this video tutorial I made over here.